Grill This, Smoke That is generously supported by Oven Brothers, makers of handcrafted Canadian-made wood-burning outdoor ovens for inspired chefs. Visit us at ovenbrothers.ca. Oven Brothers, from our family's backyard to yours. Grill This, Smoke That is brought to you by Furtado Farms. For all your outdoor cooking needs, they're your premium source for cookwood. Whether it's pellets, chips, chunks, or logs, they've got you covered. Visit FurtadoFarms.ca for more info. Kettleman's Bagels is proud to support Grill This, Smoke That. Kettleman's, makers of wood-fired Montreal-style bagels using only premium ingredients. With three Ottawa locations, Kettleman's menu is available 24-7, 365 days a year. One of my favorites is meat pie. I love tortillas. Dino, you're gonna make it with some some ingredients that I usually wouldn't use in tortillas. Please tell us what you're gonna do here. Well, first of all, I, I took a little bit of the bacon, oh. rendered that down so that I get the nice the smokiness of the bacon, the saltiness of it, and the fat. Because you always need a little bit of fat. fat. <laughs> and then I've got some uh, some wild boar Ooh. and some elk meat. Ooh, so elk making, meat. making it a nice little wild kind of uh, meat pie. Wonderful. Something a little bit different. So you're going to put that all in the pan and you're going to brown all that up. Now what kind of flavorings would you use with that? Well, I go a little traditional, so I put clove, uh, some fresh clove. We and have fresh cloves here. Yeah, and then a little bit of thyme, just Ooh. for some, some nice freshness in there. And uh, yeah, so then after it's all been cooked in there and sweated in there, right. then I go ahead and I take a little bit of the filling, mm. put it inside. That smells it wonderful, Dino. The nice bacon and clove smell, it's mm. just... You know, Chef, so. you're making my mouth water. Oh, well. That looks really, really delicious. So we try to... I won't have any trouble filling in my suit for next <laughs> Christmas, I'm telling you. <laughs> My goodness, that looks good. So we pack that in. Lovely. Pinch the edges. Right. And we cut the excess off. So we use the back of a knife and we just kind of just rub it up against. That's very chefy, Dino. Very, very chefy. Lovely, so. but it gives you that lovely, nice, even no. edge. And then I pinch it. So I pinch it a little bit different. Okay. So I pinch it with using my index and my thumb. Okay. And then I just go onto an edge and Ooh. do this like so. Oh, that's pretty. So like that. And it's pretty quick. You could come way. up north and help decorate all the presents for the boys and girls. <laughs> you could be one of my designers, Dino. <laughs> we make a little bit of... You're not believing me, are you? I don't think you want me to go up there. I would love you <laughs> up there. We'd be eating so well. Look, it's a lovely little pie. So, just like so. That's it. That's all it is. It's very easy. I guess we're going to the grill. Ho, 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 ho. Look at this lovely little meat pie. Now it's going into an oven that's set for 350 degrees. Nothing too hot, nothing too cold. Just right. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to close up the lid. That little pie is going to be in there for about 25 minutes. Larger pie, 35 to 40. We'll see you back at Santa's workshop. Ho, 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 ho. On today's tip, we're going to talk about how to store fresh herbs. Something with a woody stem like rosemary can just be wrapped at the bottom with a little bit of moistened paper towel. If you've got uh, leafy herbs that are delicate, you can actually layer them between moistened paper towel as well in a container, a Ziploc container that can go in the fridge. Another great way is to actually use ice cube trays and put all your chopped herbs in your ice cube trays and fill them with either water or oil, depending on how you want to use it later, and throw that in the freezer. And when you need it, just pop a, a, a little cube out and use it at will. I like to grow them fresh in little pots so that I have access to them year round. So just, if you're growing them outside, bring them inside. A little bit of taste of summer in the middle of the winter. Today's tip, how to store herbs.